Hey guys, I'm doing the Power Racer. We're doing Championship Mirror. <sighs> no commentator. I couldn't find one at all. No one wanted to participate. It's it's basically going to be one of those let's plays where it's just like I'm fucked. I'm utterly fucked. You know what else is fucked? That because I can't find any motherfuckers, I have to do shit all on my own. And I've run out of everything to say. I have things to say after 30 minutes though. Like I actually do have something relevant to this game to say in 30 minutes, but for right now I got nothing. So for the next 30 minutes I'm just gonna sit back and watch me play this game just like you and uh, quite frankly I'm not going to be speaking much because I got nothing I've said everything I want to say about this fucking game so sorry I mean I wish I could say more I wish I could fucking you know have more things to say about this game, but this is like the sixth time I've done these fucking tracks. This is the second time we've done the mirror. So that's it. It's just gonna be silence for a lot of this part. And that's just how it's gonna be. So to save the trouble I'd recommend you just skip to this time right at the fucking corner left here. Just go to that time right now. And you'll see all the important shit you need to know. You don't need to fucking see this. I mean, if you watch this all the way through, then you're a fucking tripping man, but... Like, I I'm sorry. I am doing you a favor by putting that time there. Because you're better off just skipping right now. What's my channel doing so far? Nine hundred and sixty three. Not bad. Not bad on subscribers. We're like what? Thirty seven subscribers away from me making a Patreon making the big one K special. It's a good thing I'll actually have some things to say after this championship is done, considering, you know, there's that fucking fractal thing, the fractal generator, which will be next part. There's the multiplayer shit. There's the time trial. There's still have a bit of this game left. But at least... It's something that isn't this, really. I mean, time trial, like, no shit, but... I think stuff like Fractal and Multiplay might be interesting. This, though, is not. This is the most boring shit ever. And, you know, I, I could have been doing this when this room's more quiet, but I stopped caring. I really have stopped caring. I'm just gonna fucking do it while the TV is blaring out a bit. If the birds keep fucking squawking and get real loud, whatever. I mean, at this point, the smoking people have already done what I said and skipped all the way to that fucking 
like 29 minutes, something like that. 29, 50 seconds, or whatever. I don't know. They've already skipped. So. God, these controls suck. It is so fucking hard to steer in this piece of shit. I've been doing like, what, nine parts of this and I still struggle with the fucking controls because it's either, it's very fucking sensitive and shit a lot of the time and there's a whole diving thing where you make jumps and by the way, jumps are fucking horrible in this game, god damn. No, this is new anyway. I can play the hell of back on this shit already, like back in part one. Oh, well, if I if I wanted to, I could be a dumbass and play this entire championship of a Negicon. But the problem is, I don't have a fucking Negicon, so I can't do that. And I don't want to get a fucking Negicon, because that controller sucks. Jack and Dexter is now finally being put to PS4. The first game's up now. You can get it for like 24 bucks. But if you go to Oz Game Shop, you can get it for like $9. So. Get the game at Oz Game Shop. Don't. Don't spend $24 or whatever on the fucking. PS2 to the PS4 game, you know, it's Jack and Dexter. Alright. I know what they're doing. And quite frankly, I think they're fucked themselves. We'll do a Let's Play on the Jack and Dexter game. PS4 versions, even though they're just the PS2 versions, no matter what. Maybe... I'd have to involve Daxter in this, that PSP game, but... PPSSPP should be reliable enough to do that, so... Maybe. We'll see, it, it might happen after this fucking game. I don't know. Like right now, with my PS4, I'm just kind of going through One Piece Pirate Warriors 3, and I'm nearly done with it. It's just that fucking. The fucking gallery. With the max part level poster bullshit. The fucking coins. And having to be shanks with like phrase specific characters. I've already done Dream Log, the fucking 
story mode 100%. I got all the S ranks. I did all the legend logs and all that bullshit. I've done all of it. All that's literally left is the other shit. The fucking crew. That's it. The crew level list. The crew posters. I have to upgrade all those people to max. And that's gonna take me a fucking while. So... This is utter bollocks, honestly. It's basically gonna be full-on grinding. And I hate it. And then there's the Shanks thing. Which... Nobody on the internet has been able to make that clear. Because... People say you have to do it as Luffy and Teach, aka Blackbeard, and then whoever the fuck else you want, like Fuji Tora. Which, by the way, Fuji Tora is the fucking most OP motherfucker in that game. But then I, I do it as Fuji Tora, I get the work of the opponent, then I do this Teach, I get the same fucking thing. So it's obviously not Teach, but I got his fucking token at least. And then I find out like we'll say in Sabo. So after I deal with all the strong enemies again, I'm gonna choose Luffy. I'm gonna hope Sabo doesn't get locked out. I'm gonna deal with the Sabo. And I'm gonna hope I get some more of that. It should be called a new generation. And then there's the one of Luffy because he's the main character of One Piece, and of course he would have something very special of Shanks. Why do you think he has that fucking straw hat? It's an essential plot item the entire fucking manga at least. Oh, I'm also doing the whole stream highlight thing again. I've been doing demo plays for a bit because I want to do something else. Uh, but I got some stuff, some streams that I wish to show you. Uh, and that is 5 Day Gamers 11. So I'll be showing off Rascal and Cyberdeck and Small Soldiers uh, in those ones. Small Soldiers isn't complete, by the way. I'll probably do that in my own fucking channel on my own stream, like on Twitch and shit. Uh, but Rascal and Cybertech, they're done. They're absolutely done, and you'll be able to see them fully when they're all uploaded piece by piece. Always 30 minutes, always 30 minutes. I fucking love the draw distance in this game. 
shit just pops out of nowhere. Right. I haven't paid attention to it that much like we watched the recording, so it's just like Jesus Christ. Might I add, by the way, if the AI being bullshit, which by the way, remember, this is on easy and the AI is just at their cheating point now. When they make tight fucking turns around an island or something like that, like in the uh, last turn at the end of this level here, that big upward turn, they go full speed on that, and they're very tight in. I can't even do that with a fucking boost going on. I feel like this game is a dick, honestly. I feel like it's just being a dickhead, and it's just cheating on me. Also, Halloween is coming in two months. I'll, uh, I'll have something ready for you on October. It will be a big fucking marathon of horror shit on October. So, you guys will have some fun with that. God, fucking hell. I feel like 18 minutes. God. This is the most bland shit ever. I'm so glad I won. It's not like I haven't won the other fucking 50 times. No, this is special occasion. Fuck's sake, this is... This is what's happened, this Let's Play. 
I get interested with some bullshit. I play it blindly without even knowing what's to come. And by the way, you can restart the race if you want to. But for fuck's sake, it's like... At least with Aqua GT, there was some shit to complain about throughout. And with the Hardware Thunder games, there was stuff. Like, there was a lot of stuff. Uh, again, it was reusing levels and such, but it had stuff involved with it. It, was, it had some neat things included. Th this. No. This is sad. This is a fucking four beds. Hydro fucking thunder. In every sense of the word. Main phrase. Oh my fucking god, screw these narrow corridors. They're the worst part about this game, considering this game pushes you everywhere with the fucking waves, and the, C the CPU being in the way almost all the time. Oh my god, I'm going like fucking crazy watching this. This is how bad this is. I wasn't even giving much of a shit when I was fucking playing it either. For the most part, I was just like, eh. I hit the boys. Why they hit the boys? Oh, so many dead boys. The whole fucking orphanage is on fire because I killed all the boys. Fuck this fucking game to shit, man. Can we please hurry the fuck up to the goddamn, like, the last track, so that I can know I'm close enough to ending this and being able to actually say some shit that's worth saying, instead of me just complaining and being very silent and fucking tired. Fuck me, it's, it's been 24 minutes and 20 seconds, and now we're at the fucking... Why does this championship take half an hour? I hate this. In fucking essence. In a fucking essence, this whole entire game would take you three hours to just do all the tracks and then the championships.
That's terrible.
YouTube is gonna age and strip this fucking VA because of the mustache, isn't it? That mustache is too sexy for YouTube. Also, there were breasts. I don't know if that's important though. Anyway, we are the champion. We've gotten the gold trophy of Rapid Racer, which is just crap. Uh, we also got ourselves a new boat, which is called the fucking Radioactive. And as you can see, it's got a lot of good speed. And it can go to the very maximum if I upgrade a bit more. I don't think I'm going to bother with that, though. Anyway, now we're going to go. And uh, also, as you can see, we have one more boat after that. As you can see, I can go to bonus by pressing down and then X. And also, it's the fractal generator. I'll be going for that next part. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to deal with the frat, not the frat, the fucking bonuses. I'm going to do them as the Kula and Wave Hammer, because that's all we have left. So, as you can see, I can exchange and such. I can't really, but with this, I can't exchange until it's like a certain level. So, I'm not going to bother with that, and so I'm going to go ahead and do the wave hammer and the akula and do the bonus with them now i'm gonna make a save state here because they actually have specific upgrade spots and those specific upgrade spots are well you already just saw one it is the rightmost one and we have to go and choose that twice. Now, the first time it will maximize that thing for this boat. But on the second time, it will give us the new boat. I would also have to remind you that there are no guides or YouTube walkthroughs or even many videos of Rapid Racer outside of like a fucking 60 FPS on actual console thing or whatever. For the most part, nobody has any idea how to unlock all these boats. And I guess I'm going to be that guy that actually does that bullshit. So, for this boat, the wave hammer, go all on the fucking handling and you will get your next boat. You will get the, the uh, second, I guess, medium difficulty boat, I guess, middle best boat. You'll definitely get a better boat, at least. So yeah, just go on handling on both, and you should be fine. And with that, we will now begin our new boat, which is called... Let's have it, please. The Marlin. So there you go. Now it's time for the Akula. And you've already seen that with the wave hammer it was handling. So, what is the Akula? Well, the Akula is speed. That means that the boat that we have used uh, throughout the Let's Play on Part 1 was speed. Not speed, this is speed. Uh, acceleration, I mean. So, there you go. That, that's your logic for how this works and what you should go for for your own boats. You just have to do this shit with these boats and you will win yourself three new cars. I mean, boats. That doesn't explain how to get the last boat though because there's one more boat after that, and I just picked the fucking race. I don't want to race. I want to do the bonus. Fuck off. Come on. Uh, good thing I can quit, and it won't, the bonus will go away if I quit, so that's good news. Right. Let's actually do this correctly. Let's press down, and then press X. There we go. Okay. Let's choose speed, and let's finish this. At least for this part, I will get free boats after doing like all this bullshit. And I just found, I didn't only really figure this one out myself like pretty recently. I was thinking about it and I thought I might as well give it a try, and it worked. 
so now I have to figure out how to get this last boat. Do I have to uh, go off my newly acquired better boat and be on the championships again, or do I have to do the time trials? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out in another part. But right now, that is it for this part of Rapid Racer. We've got the T550. That's it. We've got almost every boat. We've got the Marlin, we've got the fucking T550, and we got the Radioactive. But we only have the Black Widow next. I don't know how to get that. Nobody fucking does. So my guess is I'm going to have to go and try Time Trial. But for, for right now, next time, we are going to be doing the fucking uh, Fractal thing. We'll be going through all four maps of the Fractal Generator. There it is. And we're going to test it out. We're going to check it out. So I'll see you guys next time for the Fractal Generator of Rapid Racer. Thanks for watching, I guess.